Amal Kumar, I have taken a few examples here to reveal the properties of Pascal's triangle and their relation with binomial coefficients. So these three questions are related to these properties. The first one is, calculate 10 choose R, where R goes from 0 to 10. Question number two is, calculate square of 3 choose R, where R is from 0 to 3. And question number three is, find the sum of squares of sixth row of Pascal's triangle. You can pause the video, apply the properties of Pascal's triangle, calculate the result, and then check with my solution. The very first one here is, calculate sum of these entries in the Pascal's triangle. So these are the entries in the 10th row, right? So we are trying to find the sum of um, 10 choose R, that means the 10th row, where R moves from 0 to 10. And as you know, sum of elements in 10th row, sum of, let's say, elements in 10th row of Pascal's triangle, is 2 to the power of n, n in this case is 10, and therefore it should be 2 to the power of 10, right? 2 to the power of 10, you can use the calculator, but I always remember this as a k, 1024, right? 1024. So the answer is 1024 for this particular case. Now let's look into question number 2, which is, in this case, we are adding the square of these entries, right? So basically what we have here is uh, 3CR whole square. So you can actually use calculator, calculate these values. But a faster way was uh, look at the Pascal's triangle, correct? So we have 1, 1, 1. And since it is just, uh, we have to go three rows. So, so I'll prefer to do this. This is faster than using the calculator, right? And purposely, I'm doing it like this. So it is 3, 3, and 1. So the third row entries which we are talking about are these entries, correct? Now we have square of this, right? So we could write this as 1 square, uh, okay, uh, 1 square plus 3 square plus 3 square plus 1 square. And when you add them, like it says 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 1, so 10 plus 10 gives us 20 correct so so we get result as 20 now we do have a property which says that let me write down the property here first and then we will use that formula to find this sum rather calculate correct so so what we have is that the squares some of the squares of this is equals to in general 2n cn right so in this case since n is 3 since n is n is 3 so so what we'll get here as sum as 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 c3 so 6 c3 should be our answer so let me use the calculator and figure it out just to verify the formula right so so we have 6 uh, c3 as our answer so 6 N C R S three equals two gives us twenty. Do you see that? So that is also equals to twenty. So six C three, as you can see, is twenty. So we can always use this formula that the sum of squares of any row in Pascal's triangle can be found by the formula two N C N. So you have to from two N choose N, correct? Question number three is direct application of this particular property. Sum of squares of nth row is 2n. Let me write down here the property itself. We call it property four. And that is sum of squares of nth row is 2n 
cn is it okay so that is the property we are not talking about sixth row two times six is 12 so it is 12 c6 right so that is the sum so we can straight away find the answer so it is 12 combination 6 2 6 924 so that is the result so you don't have to now build up a Pascal's triangle as we did till sixth row square them and add so that is the best way you can do it so it's so fast and I hope now you appreciate why we are trying to link Pascal's triangle with binomial coefficients now we have a formula to work with I'm Anil Kumar and I sh I'm sure this must help you to understand the whole concept and move forward with some tricky questions on binomial coefficients we'll take them up soon i'm anil kumar you can share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best